Hello folks, uh, this is uh, 2021 May June paper 1 1 and question number 3. So from this question starts uh, uh, the 1 1 variant of the May June 2021 question. This uh, uh, thing is uh, concerned with the chapter of vectors or you can say forces as well. It says a force of 10 Newton and a force of 5 Newton act on an object. So 10 Newton here, 5 Newton here. The angle between the forces is 150 degrees, 20 degrees. The resultant force on the object can be resolved into a pair of perpendicular components. So every force can be done like that. Which row shows numerical expressions for a possible pair of perpendicular components. So the components could be like this, like this. Uh, so that's why, or, or even say if I take this as the proper direction, it could be its component, its component here could be like this, like this. So we have to find a pair which is the correct one. Now, if I do like this, let us say, let me find the uh, component of the forces in this direction. In this direction, let me use a red. Let me use a red here. So let me say in this direction, what happens is uh, the angle here will be equal to, since it's 150, it is 30 degrees, 30 degrees. So what I can have is, in this direction, the component of a TN will be equal to, it is a TN Newton, uh, 10, then uh, uh, cos of 30 degrees, 30 degrees. Since this force and this force are opposite, so it should be minus 5. The component in this direction is 10 cos 30 degree minus 5. So if I go through <coughs> these things, so choice number A seems to be correct. Choice number A seems to be correct. But in this direction, what will be the component of uh, component of okay sorry now in the perpendicular direction in the perpendicular direction the component of this thing will be equal to will be equal to uh, it will be tn then since this is 30 in this direction it should be sine so it is tn sine of 30 degrees so since the angle is here the component in the non angle side will be equal to tn sine 30 degrees so if i go through here the choices are not correct because they say tn cos 30 tn and so on so this thing is not uh, working now what happens is in this direction its component is zero is zero so let me go like this now since this is not working let me find let me find the component in this direction component in this direction of all the things so in this direction the component of 10 is 10 so it should be equal to 10 and the component of this will be equal to its component here will be this is a, 30 degrees this again is 30 so its component here will be equal to 5 uh, cos of 30 degrees so i can do like this 10 this is 10 this is uh, uh, 5 cos 30 so it is minus 5 cos 30 degrees 30 degrees component here and the perpendicular direction will be like this like this like this like this like this so its component here will be equal to equal to uh, 5 5 then since this angle is 30 the component here will be equal to sine so 5 is sine of 30 degrees so if i do it here if i do it it will be equal to 10 minus 5 cos 30 and then the component of this thing over this direction its perpendicular will be equal to 5 sin 30 so this seems to so this is uh, somewhere here c is correct yes and 5 sin 30 c is correct so this seems to be the proper choice proper choice Others are incorrect because they have intermixed uh, sine and cos. Sine and cos. So if you see here, it is a tn cos 30 minus 5, it's correct. But the other is tn cos 30, which is tn sine. So same happens with this as well as this. Same happens with this as well as this because sine 30 is not appropriate here. And again, sine 30 is not appropriate here because it is tn cos 30. Should have been tn cos 30, it is sine 30. Should have been 5 cos 30, it is sine 30. So that is not, those are not correct and only Choice number C seems to be correct.